responsibility uh, to do as the Bible says and to reach out to those, um, especially be an aid um, and a resource for the least, um, the last, uh, the downcast, the downtrodden. Uh, that's really important. Uh, I think the, the church has to be a source of hope. Um, my first cousin passed away of AIDS. Um, this was in the mid-1990s. And the real sad thing about it is that our family was very hush-hush about it. Um, it was not widely acknowledged, though we all knew. And um, his sexuality, though we all knew, was not acknowledged. And uh, many in our family regarded it as, as uh, something to be, it was a source of shame. Not just his passing, but his life was a sort of source of shame. Some of us are very devout Christians and very conservative Christians. And um, so he lay dying and uh, many in our family judged him which is one of the great tragedies of my family, and it happens in a lot of families, and it's a tragedy. Sometimes people don't want to hear teaching by word, but um, teaching happens not only verbally, but it, it happens by living, living a certain example, uh, modeling certain types of behavior. And I, I think that's what the, the church needs to combine, uh, verbal teaching with exemplifying um, a, uh, an embracing, hopeful, comforting style of ministry.